Hi, welcome to my channel To Irrational. I'm Pranesh Sharma, and in this video, we are going to talk about what mistakes we make while studying for actual science and how we can avoid them. For any students who is starting with actual science, the biggest mistake that we make is not clearing our basics. Even though our actual subjects starts from very basic and explain advanced topics very well, we require some basic mathematics and statistics before we start our actual journey. These are the list of those basics that the institute suggests that we should know beforehand. In this, the top one differentiation integration is the most important because it is used a lot throughout our course. I have made video on few of these topics, so you can check that out on the card above or in the description below. The second mistake that we make is starting late. The IFOA examination is conducted every April and September and IAI examination is conducted every March and September. Almost every subject requires up to four to five months of the preparation and that takes about 200 to 300 hours of our studies. That should translate to about 15 hours per week. Now this is a very rough estimate and you might require much more than that. I would suggest you should give at least this much time per subject. Even though most of the topics can be covered in two or three months, I would not recommend that because we require knowledge as well as a lot of practice for most of these subjects. As we are on the topic of practice, the third mistake is not having enough practice before the examination. The material that you should refer for practicing is going to be your book that is called as Combined Material Pack or CMP. Then some kind of revision notes or assignments that gives you practice sums. You can buy revision notes from the institute or have some assignments that are again similar things, practice sums from past papers. And of course you require the formula table book in all your papers for reference. Now the sums given in our book, the assignments that you are going to solve should be solved at least three times and at least one time in that should be on Microsoft Word because our examination is online now and the biggest hurdle is typing and typing fast, especially the equations in the examination. I've made videos on how to type equation in MS Word as well as some examples of CM1 as well as CS1 that you will find on the cards as well as in the description. Now a lot of times students prepare for paper A very well and leave paper B till the end and that is not a very good practice. We should practice paper B after each section. In your book you will find a group of chapters are given as sections. After completing one section you should start practicing them in paper B that would be Excel or in R programming. 15 to 20 days before your examination you should solve past two papers as mock test with the time limit and everything so that you understand where you are lacking in terms of practice as well as in terms of speed. Another mistake that we make is not using the scientific calculator while we are solving our sums. Now although our mobile as well as computers are very well in calculating stuff but we should practice with the calculator that you will be using in the examination. The recommended calculators are given here for both the institutes. You will find videos on important ways of using these calculators top above as well as down below. While we are studying another mistake that we make is we don't make comprehensive notes. While studying we should create chapter wise detailed notes because our examination is conceptual. Keep a separate practice booklet for solving all the book sums as well as assignment sums. We should keep a separate formula sheet that we are revising each chapter as well as keeping them with us while we are solving all the sums. You will find that till the end you don't even need the formula sheet because you will remember almost all of the formulas. Now, Because we are going to solve in word we have to keep chapter wise practice in word as well and keep a formula sheet in word. Now it will be useful in IFO examination because they allow us to keep any material with us and it will be helpful to practice on word and increase our speed. Now at last but not least the biggest problem is time management. 
we should keep a regular schedule like maybe 15 hours a week maybe 20 hours a week for that we need to pre-plan our studies so each of the sections given in your book is usually taking equal amounts of time so accordingly plan your schedule and always leave some room to make up if you fall behind and of course we should keep revising that plan so that we don't fall behind make sure we are giving enough time sometimes you will require more time for a particular topic sometimes you will require less time than you had anticipated this is very necessary so that we complete our course in time and that should be at least one month before our examination so that you keep time for practicing something that you may not have perfected yet and for mock test and again going through the whole syllabus these are some mistakes that i made in past and i hope you don't make them too if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one